What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. Oh, yeah, guys. So since last episode, I have been kind of AFK for a while. If you look at the day in the upper left-hand corner, you, say, you can see that it says 389. I believe towards the end of last episode, it was saying something like 364, I think. Anyway, I left the game running for about eight hours, and it got to whatever the day we're on right now in that amount of time. But as you can look at the clock that's next to the day, you can see that it kind of goes up a minute and then goes down a minute. It goes up a minute, it goes down a minute. So, like, it's been a lot longer than what it says there because we're experiencing a lot of lag right now. If we do a slash cfhtps, you can see right now it says that we're gaining or we have like 11.7 TPS overall, which means we're running at about half speed. Yeah. Um, that is because of all of the emerald production we have in the mining dimension. We have so many of the watches of flowing time there. Um, the whole reason why AFK was for these infinity catalysts. You see, we have collected so many of those. We have nearly 1,000 of them which is fantastic. Uh, we needed, I can't remember, it was something around 700 of these things, I believe, in order to make the infinity armor. That's why I was letting this thing go for so long, is so we could attempt to get to that point, because otherwise we never would have completed that quest, right? So we have plenty of these things in order to make all the infinity ingots in order to make the infinity armor, which is something that I'd like to look at today. Also, if we go back to our quest book here, yeah, so... We need to complete this quest, which will complete this, and this first page will be completely done. We have a bunch of other quests here that we need to knock out before we can say that this is complete, right? We got all the mystical agriculture done. We have some more storage, which is just some more crafting, which is not a big deal. Draconic Evolution is done. And Project D, yeah, I think last episode I was saying that we could just extract these from uh, any one of our... What are these things called? The transmutation tablets or tables or whatever. Since we have the Tome of Knowledge, we should know what all those things are. So, like, I could grab gem armor. I think I think gem was something that we needed, right? Maybe? Or was it red matter? No, I can't remember. Let's go back in here. Was gem? Oh, yeah, there's gem armor here, but we need the red matter armor first. So let's do red matter. Okay, so we'll do the helmet for that. I think we also needed... The dark matter armor, we could do that too. Dark matter, grab one of these sets. We can always throw them back in there for getting the EMC back. Okay, so quest complete, red matter armor. Let's go back in here. Yeah, so dark matter, red matter, and gem armor. All these are now complete. Now, each one of those armors are slightly better than the last, but since we had the draconic armor, there's really no reason for us to even, like, play around with them, so... I'll just go ahead and put those back into the system. So red matter, we also need these different tools, and I'm not sure exactly which ones we need, so I'll just grab all of these out of here so we can hopefully complete that quest. Quest complete, Philosopher's Pickaxe. Is this thing safe? <laughs> Philosopher's Morning Star. Did we complete all these? Okay, and then we needed the Kadar thing. Uh, that does have EMC, so it's called a red Kadar. Let's put these back. Uh, red... Okay, whoop, space. Okay, there it is, this thing. Okay, so that should be all of the quests then, I do believe. Yeah, so everything on Project E section is now complete. Uh, by right-clicking an ore vein, the pickaxe will instantly mine the entire vein as long as it is under 32 blocks long. When the vein is mined, the pickaxe will create a loot ball containing the ores mined for easy collection. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I didn't actually know a red matter pickaxe would do that. So these texts are very helpful. This thing says combines the function of the red matter sword, hoe, axe, and shears. That's cool. All right, so the morning star combination of the hammer, pickaxe, and shovel. All right. Well, I'm not really sure what all special properties all of those other tools have. It seems like the pickaxe had something special. Maybe the other ones do too, but I'm not super familiar with this mod other than how to use EMC and stuff. Uh... Dark matter armor is very resilient, but not quite indestructible. Okay, the red matter armor, more resilient than the dark matter armor, but can firm to weakness to armor are fall damage, explosions, and musket shots. Okay, 
And then it says gem armor is more offensive and offers flight. It is made by combining the power items with red matter armor. Most notably the star Omega, which you need for every recipe. Okay. So it's just more expensive. Essentially let's claim that one too. So project D section is now complete. We got some loot chests to open up. We got some viaducts. We get compact giant chance cubes, mana steel, epic bacon, Charm Wither Resistance, which is good for the Mystical Agriculture armor, but we don't need that. Our Draconic armor already does that for us. And then we get some IC2 Overclockers, which I don't even know why IC2 is in this mod pack. Maybe it's just another option if you really like IC2, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so pretty much at this point, I feel like we should start knocking out these power generation things. Uh, it wants us to make each one of these generators, and I believe all of these generators go into making the rainbow generator uh, as part of the recipe. And in order for the rainbow generator to actually do anything, you need all of these generators active. They all have to be running in order for the rainbow generator to do anything. It's kind of a crazy setup. I don't think we're going to try and get this thing going, but since we have the quest to craft all these, I'll go ahead and take the time to knock these out. I don't think there's anything super crazy uh, about the recipes on most of these things. They're fairly basic. It's just some crafting that needs to be done, right? So let me go ahead and take some time here. I'm going to go through and craft all these things, complete our quests, and then we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we got all of these different generators made. We still got a quest to be completed or two, I think. Yeah, so all the ones that we didn't have, I just went ahead and crafted. Took a little bit of time, not a big deal. And then that, that did unlock the rainbow generator here. So it says it's an incomplete quest. Uh, it says it generates 1 million RF per tick on each side, while all other 16 generators from extra utilities 2 are running. So yes, we can create a lot of RF from this thing, which we don't really need. <laughs> uh, anyway, so rainbow generator... I didn't actually look at the rest before this. You have to craft two different halves and then craft them together to make this guy, right? So the bottom half requires some of those generators we just made, plus a resonating redstone crystal, and the top half requires the other bunch of those. So in order to get the rainbow generator running, you need to make all of the different generators twice. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not sure if we have all the different items here because I think one of the items, one of these generators... Went to a different recipe, perhaps? We'll see if we have all of them. I might have to craft another one. Yeah, we have this one missing. A furnace generator. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. So now we have that, and there we go. So now we have both halves, which I don't think there was a, a recipe for, but we have to put those together into the rainbow generator. I like how the text changes color. That's a nice touch. Okay, so rainbow generator done. Maybe. Eventually. Rainbow, oh, now it's completed. Okay, I was like, that's taking an exceptionally long amount of time. So we can go through uh, these different quests here and claim all of our rewards. I'm not really sure if there's anything at this point in the game that we can get from the rewards, which is going to be, like, helpful at all. Uh, pretty much we have everything at this point. Since we unlocked the Tome of Knowledge, we have a lot of different items available at our fingertips in order for us to just creed out of emeralds or emc or whatever but anyway uh we have all of these let's go ahead and pop them and see if we get anything that we might have found useful earlier on in the series potentially okay invar hammer we've seen that one quite a bit more compact giant champs cubes we've seen a lot of those that we might end up using at some point hey you gotta apply to logistic stuff uh, more compact giant chance cubes, lithium dust, a diamond furnace, a little bit of EMC, I suppose. This is more stone and wood and mystical fertilizer. Did we ever get mystical fertilizer before? If we did, we used it. I don't know if we ever got these. But anyway, that's a pretty good early game reward, I would say. So we can put all of this stuff away. Okay. So now that that's done, uh, furthering our quest, we have to go back to... <laughs> What environmental tech and then we also have to do the reactor here and then there are still a few more of these quests left um where did we end up on the solar array solar array tier three i don't think we ever crafted this but this requires cryonite okay 
um solar array we do have the tier two we have a craft for the tier two maybe we left the tier two controller back in the mining dimension you know what i'd like to do at this point um i kind of want to turn off all of these things i feel like the lag that this is causing is just getting a little obnoxious at this point All of that sound is a little obnoxious too, but I want to turn off all these washes of flowing time. We have more of them over here, which I don't think these are currently turned on. Um, but yeah, these were for the neutronium to make that go faster. I kind of want to start turning these things off a little bit and getting some of our... That's weird, this guy spawned right there. Uh, start getting some of our TPS back. Oh, okay, we got to move away. The sound... Yeah, I want to start getting some of our TPS back so the game isn't running as laggy. Uh, I think we've collected enough EMC to do the things that we wanted to do. So I'll go through and turn off all of these things. And then I think what we're probably going to do is, uh, yeah, continue on with the environmental tech. And if we got time, we will try and make ourselves the rest of the infinity armor. So anyway, let me get to this and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so I was kind of looking at our different solar cells here, uh, and the, we need these in order to make the solar arrays, right? And we have pretty much everything all the way up until the solar array controller tier 6, which I saw requires this ethium stuff. Yeah, apparently we never made the high enough void resource miner to get to that, or void ore miner. Um, so I don't know if we're going to be able to complete all of this right now. We will have to make ourselves the tier 6 void or minor in order to get that but yeah we'll get to that point when we get there anyway so to complete this we need a solar array controller tier three and i made recipes for all these solar array controller tier three okay so we want to make this so it requires all this stuff and we have all of this stuff we've just been collecting it for quite a long time now so there's our solar array controller tier three we'll put that in our inventory and our quest book should complete. Okay, very good. So I'll do the next one. Solar Array Tier 4. Yeah, pretty simple since we have all these things already made. Um, all the recipes made and all the resources in the system, I guess I should say. Uh, so there's our Tier 4. We'll make the Tier 5. And we don't have any Ionite blocks. Okay, so we need a recipe for that. Ionite stuff i guess we never made a recipe to do that but that's easy enough i think it's just nine of them right yep looks like that's it and we'll put that into our crafter over here yeah palladium there's that and then we don't have the ethium either obviously uh so let's do tier five and we will craft that one up there it is very very easy Okay, so we have that done. That should complete a good number of these quests. We'll claim these guys. Claim it and claim it. So we need to set up our void resource miner to start collecting the ethium stuff. That's probably something we should do right away. Uh, let's pop our loot chest that we just got here. Some black lotus. We get ourselves some draconic cores and some yellow right ore, which we are going to be getting into uh the reactors here so it might be useful not entirely sure if we're actually going to set these things up you know we've been collecting power in our draconic evolution power ball this thing's probably full by now huh oh not quite full it's 84 <laughs> percent uh yeah we have so much power stored up in here and it's taken so long we're and we're generating over a million rf per tick we really don't need any other types of power sources at this point uh but anyway Let's get back to this. So we want to upgrade. Yeah, we want to upgrade our void resource miner. So where are we at on that? Let's go back to the mine dimension real quick and take a look where that thing is. That's our beacon. It's this one right here, right? Yeah, so we're at a void or miner controller tier four. So we need to upgrade this thing to the tier five. Let's actually take a look at the ethium stuff. Where does this come from? Yeah, Void or Miner Tier 5 or 6. Yeah, it kind of sucks that we never 
We never got that far. Okay, well, we definitely need to get this thing hooked up. Um, yeah, and I guess we don't have this going back to the overworld either. I need to get ourselves the um, ender chest back on here. I think it's just the white, white, white one we were using. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and disassemble this. I, oh, hold on, before we do that, <laughs> it would make life a lot easier if we knew if the next one was the same height or if it was taller. So I guess we're going to go back home real quick. Let's take a look at the manual for environmental tech. What is the thing called? It is called, I don't know. All right, so after searching for far longer than I feel like I should have been, I found it. It's called the Digital Guide but it's now in a mod called Valkyrie Lib. How are you supposed to find this guide for environmental tech if it doesn't show up in the environmental tech items? Rant over. Anyway, so found the digital guide. <laughs> um, we need to go back to home. We need to go to the void or miner. And yeah, we want to take a look at the difference between four and five. So it is one block taller. Okay, so that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know this before I removed the controller. I want to have like a block place there so we can easily just go back and just set a thing back there. So let's grab some cobblestone, something like that, and we'll go back to the mining dimension. Yeah, that's there's another mod out there that does that too. It has items for their mod and another, like another add-on mod or whatever. And just, ugh. That frustrates me because it's super hard to try and find these items if you're searching by the mod for items that work with the mod and it's in a completely different mod, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, <laughs> but I find that super frustrating. Anyway, so we can place a new controller on the bottom of this thing and that should all work. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and break this thing. We get a whole bunch of ores and stuff in here that don't really matter. In fact, I'm just going to throw these things away. Like, most of the ores that we've collected throughout this series, I don't think we've ever even smelted. We've just been collecting them. So they're not super important. Uh, yeah, it's just mostly these different crystals and stuff. All right, so we have pretty much everything that I need. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and disassemble all of this. Kind of sucks when you have to do that, but it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and get rid of all of these things, all of that, this. And do I have the assembler since apparently, well, at least the solar didn't want to break. Oh, that one wanted to break. I wonder why the solar didn't. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so I should have all of our different parts. In fact, I should probably just verify if I drop all the way down here that there's nothing at the bottom. No, I think we're good. Okay, so we'll go back to the base. Then we can upgrade this to a tier five. I probably want to make myself a recipe for this. So we'll do tier five and we're going to look for the void or miner. Okay, so we can do that. Crystal laser lens. Are all these? No, these are clear. Let's do it with a clear laser lens. Is that clear now? Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't want the crystal laser lens to be used. So we should know how to craft all of these different things, I would imagine. If we just put this in here, it should just craft it up. So that guy goes here, void or minor. I'll put the tier four in there since we can upgrade that. All right, so tier five. Let's upgrade to a tier five. We have everything. Looks like we have everything. So that should just be a fairly quick craft, I do believe. Oh, there it is. Okay. Void or minor tier five. So now we need to go back to our Valkyrie Lib digital guide <laughs> uh, and look at how many things we need. So we need structure frame tier five, 72 of the structure frame. I guess those should be here too. Yeah, they are. Okay. Oh, those require nether stars. So we need to make sure we have at least 72 stars in the system. We have plenty. Okay. Uh, we need structure panels are fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So really the only recipe we needed was just the tier five here. That's probably why we stopped at that point previously is because another star has made it too expensive. Okay. So that one goes here. So it said 72, I believe structure frame tier fives. All right, let's start that up. We are missing prismarine shard. 
That's super easy. Prismarine shard. We got a whole bunch of them now. All right. So now we can do tier tire <laughs> tier five. 72 and everything's happy. looks like everything's happy. The craft is going fairly quick as well, which is great. So now I guess we should make sure we have the rest of these materials together. That's the wrong thing. We want to look here. Uh, so structure panel 36. I have, oh, they're right here. 36 of those. Then we need, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Uh, 16 modifiers, speed modifiers. We have an auto craft. These don't have EMC, so we need four more of those. Should be fairly simple to do. Okay. And going back to this, we need six laser cores. Those are EMC, so we'll just uh, go into here. Laser core. And finally, the lens. I think we had everything else. We just need the structure, the 72 structure frame tier fives. Awesome. All right, so now we should have everything here in order to make the next stage of this. So let's go back to the mining dimension real quick. Make sure everything's going to work just fine. We will place this guy right yeah. All right, and then all we got to do is just hold down right click on this thing. I should place all the blocks where we need it magically, which is awesome. Hopefully we have everything together. Pretty sure we had every single block. Like we, we checked and double checked and then we did it again as we do to make sure all the blocks are there. Uh, yeah, it says 61,000 RF per tick. So I assume it is working. We got the laser beam going. So I guess we need to put a chest down to make sure this thing is actually doing what it says that it's doing. Oh boy, that's going really fast, isn't it? Okay, and there's our first piece of the Ethium crystal. So we need to go back to the base here, and we need to get ourselves a, a thing. Can that just go into the same chest that we're using down here? Is there any reason we can't just put into the same chest to have all those items go into our storage? I guess we need the Ethium crystal available in one of our drawers or our chest will fill up, but we have all the resources here going. Yeah, we should just be able to use that same one. What color is this one? I can't even remember. That is the black, white, white. Okay, so chest. Black, white, white. Should be able to use this guy right here just fine. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and double check that we can, but I feel like it should just work if we place that right next to the controller. Okay, we'll grab this guy, throw that here. Let's just double check. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so there are a few other resources that are going in there that we don't have. Let's put all these things in here real quick. Make sure everything's going in there. And the ones that stay in the chest are the ones that we need to worry about. Okay, so we need a spot for you, a spot for you. One of you, this one, and of course, our Ethium Crystal is the most important part. But yeah, it looks like everything should be working just fine. Cool. So let's go back to the base and we'll set up a few more spots for these different materials that we are now collecting. So Ethium, I will just stick over here. We were doing it in this row, but <laughs> then I started putting other things there because I forgot about our environmental tech. But yeah, that should take care of that problem. So oil, sand... I guess we can put here resonant end stone, oil shale, and of course, energized netherrack, all of the thermal expansion items. So if we look in here, this thing should be empty now. Yeah. So all the resources that we are collecting have a home. They have a place to go. Everything's happy. Now it's just a moment of collecting all of the ethium, or I guess a matter of time of collecting all the ethium for that to work. Now, another thing we could do, we could put one of the watches of flowing time next to that, and I think that speeds it up. Did we try that before? I feel like we must have. Um, but we have a few of them that aren't really doing anything, so I don't see any harm in taking some of these. As long as we're not going, like, super crazy with them, I don't see any harm in taking these things and hooking them up over here. Is that making this go much faster? I'm not seeing anything in here, so... Is this preventing the ender chest from even working? I'm not sure how that is working. Uh, let's go back to the overworld. 
Maybe that's making it go far too fast or breaking things. I'm not sure. Let's pop this open. So everything is showing up here just fine. I wonder if we are collecting stuff faster or if those don't make any difference at all. It's really, really hard to say at this point. Um, so we have 44 of those crystals in the amount of time that we have that thing set up. I mean, that's pretty good, but I'm not seeing that number increase very quickly. So maybe putting those watches at flowing time there don't really do anything for that particular machine. I know like right clicking it with the cheaty wand of cheatiness made it go faster. But when you get to the point where you got like 16 of those speed modifiers, does it really matter anymore? I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, uh, we are now collecting those. So we should be able to potentially make the next thing. Can we do the tier six? Does it say how many ethium crystals we need? We have available 12. We need four. Oh, okay, so we need four of the blocks, so we should make a recipe for the block and get that done with. Uh, let's do this thing. That is witherproof, apparently, which is kind of cool to know. All right, so one of those, and we'll put that in next to our other environmental tech blocks right here. Awesome. So tier six, solar array start. Everything available? It looks like everything's available, so we can just go ahead and craft that. Now, did I have the tier five controller in there already? I think I must have. All right, so anyways, we now have <laughs> the tier six complete, which is great. That is another quest done. Pop it, charm with a resistance. All right, guys, let's see if we can go ahead and make the infinity armor now. So it is very, very nice when you get to the point where you can craft up a stack of infinity ingots at one time, right? <laughs> so there is one stack of infinity ingots. We are going to need some more, I believe, neutronium and some more of the infinity catalyst. Let's grab some of those. So we're down to 300 of these things. I think that should be enough. So let's take a look at this. So we can make ourselves the infinity helmet, which is good. We can make ourselves the infinity. Oop, we need crystal matrix. We don't have one of those blocks. I think we can just pull that out of our table, but we can do it this way as well. All right, so we can do the chest plate. There's one of those. So we're down to 21 ingots. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough, actually. I'm going to have to craft more. Crystal matrix. Uh, matrix. Let's grab a few more of those. I'm not sure how many we need. Okay, so legs, we will do this. Looks like we can make the legs. We have five ingots remaining. Uh-oh. I guess we have to make five more of those. So can we do that? We need to get ourselves... Actually, we might be able... No, we're going to need more neutronium. All right, so let's grab neutronium. We have that. And then what's the other component is the... Not that this guy it is the crystal matrix ingot so i think again we'll have to pull it out of here all right let's see how many more of these infinities we can make 11 we only need five so let's just craft up five and i gotta get all this stuff out of the table okay very good and we should be able to craft up the infinity boots boom there it is let's put this armor on seeing how it works for us for now it does look pretty cool, I have to admit. And probably one of my favorite things of this armor uh, is the way the wings look when you fly with it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, this armor is definitely one of the best, if not the best in the game. It doesn't have the momentum cancellation. So when you're flying around, you stop, you keep going. That's why I prefer the Draconic Evolution armor over this stuff. Like, you can go forward and then press back and kind of get yourself stopped. But, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I do prefer the Draconic Evolution. But this armor, like, pretty much makes you invulnerable. You can fall into the void and just keep falling and falling and falling. And never die to void damage. Uh, it pretty much makes you unkillable. Yeah, it's very, very good stuff. And it's also got the Sanic Speed. Is that as fast as Sanic Speed goes? Or is there a button... Is there a button that I'm not pressing that can make you go faster? Maybe there is. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, yeah, this armor, very cool. I like it. Okay, well, we have completed yet another quest, so let's go ahead and get back here. Uh, oh, you know what? World Breaker, that quest isn't complete. 
Do we need that on us now? I guess we do. I did not register we had that before. So we've already made this previously, so let's put that in our inventory. And now we get the quest complete for that as well. Very good. So our entire first page is done at this point. That's fantastic. Get some punchy sticks and we get upgrade speed magical. Okay. So yeah, now at this point we can put away all these extra items. I probably will be switching back to the draconic armor. As I said, uh, I do prefer that over this particular armor. But again, this armor looks cooler. <laughs> so you got that trade off. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Stone Block. We're reaching the end of the series. We are. I think we still got one more episode left to completely finish up everything. Uh, but yeah, we are reaching the end of the series. If you guys have any suggestions for other mod packs that you want to see me play, put in the comments section down below. I will check them out. I will review them. I will see which ones or which one I would like to play going forward. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.